a Starbucks manager, like I believe corporate has basically been directly incentivizing to do this kind of stuff. Uh, a ma manager fired one of the employees who was central to the organizing effort at this at this Starbucks. The entire staff walked out in protest after this firing happened. Uh, take a look. This is from um, Starbucks Workers United's TikTok, but also was reposted on More Perfect Union, which is covering all of this uh, labor organizing really well. Sorry, yeah, there's a... You have to turn it all the way down just because you don't want copyright. No so. copyright. Da, da, da. Yeah. You want to walk a flock of flame to, uh, <laughs> to slap you with a DMCA. <laughs> But anyway, the entire store did walk out there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um, and go follow Starbucks Workers United both on uh, Twitch or uh, sorry on Twitter and at TikTok um, because this sort of stuff. Um, th this is really like this is work being done right in front of our eyes. Is when workers stand up for themselves about stuff like this, and Starbucks has been flagrant in attacking workers and fire workers who've been there for multiple, multiple years, over ten years in some cases. Um, I believe that might have been the case with the fired worker here. Um, and it's atrocious. And they, their main issue now is how they sort of spin this to the uh, folks who are allowed into their tell, town halls, where Howard Schultz you know, tells them about entities and stuff like that. And it's interesting if you watch those because a certain number feel uncomfortable with this stuff. And they absolutely like should be forced to confront what the the Starbucks is actually doing, and not be uh, able, not be allowed to pretend, which is a, a lot of like the sort of lower level folks um, that Howard Schultz's PR internal PR is most directed at, like need to be seen that this is this is Howard Schultz is a modern day um, sort of uh, Gilded Age type tycoon. Ah, you, and also Hillary Clinton's potential pick for labor secretary. I mean, she was to win. Atrocious. So. I mean, like that says all a, you need a, to know. A silver lining that she lost, which is, you know, not many of them, but um, good that he ne was never allowed to be that. Well, it's also, people forget that he ran the world's uh, best uh, political base root, uh, grassroots group, Blacks for Howard Schultz, which I think was one of my favorite uh, uh, coalitions formed by any person running for the Democratic <laughs> primary. Uh, but I will say, I mean, this makes me glad that Dark Brandon has given the mandate to those new IRS agents to execute franchise owners who don't allow their, uh, their staff to unionize or provide health care. You know, it's you, we just we can't have this anymore. It's 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 a shame, it's gone, but you gone know, too far. You yeah. know, it's like it's like that old say, saying goes, dead or alive, your malarkey ends here. Exactly. It's like, you know, that the summer execution of that, like, um, uh, protester in the Pacific Northwest was in Portland River, like the U.S. Marshals just yeah. like rolled up on him and assassinated yeah. him. So, hey, if you union bust as a corporation, that's what our new IRS agents are doing. Well I, I will you. say uh, something that. Uh, federal agents entering his home and executing him, something that our sitting president, Donald J. Trump, uh, championed at the time, uh, you know. And maybe we need uh, a solution to it that risks the imagination of a new kind of possibility. <laughs> Brandon, are you aware of that sound drop? I don't know, but it sounds uh, like it comes from a TED talk. So where it, it was about from? Howard Schultz's presidential campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like one of those books that like CEOs have a fake person that like, goes right for them. And it's always like uh, 10 rules for uh, corporate CEOs looking to upscale their business in the world of like platform, you know, platform economics. And then like every <laughs> chapter is just like the most like annoying bullshit thing you've ever read where it's like and they're all they're all like um, organized into like lists of things like YouTube videos was so just like chapter one, uh, five ways to be the world's most demanding boss. Chapter two, <laughs> you know, five ways to gaslight your employees into like thinking that the words that are coming out of your mouth are real things and not just jargon. You know, that's uh, so why I love those kinds of books. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm familiar with the type. It's uh, those are the kinds of books recommended as one of your eight book a day regimens in the manosphere. That's how people who read like one book a day like Ty Lopez can do it because those books are written like the Harry Potter books where they have like 200 pages, but the font is so large and the spacing is so wide that you can like breeze through it and like go sitting.